lot of the work happens in the head and in the eyes. You need to see it before you can do it. The process is ugly, ugly, ugly until it turns beautiful in the last, like, 10%. <laughs> of course, the t last 10% takes sometimes 90% of the time. Yeah, I'm Colin Vale. I, I just learned how to chainsaw carve in October, and I fell in love with it, and I've been carving wood in the backyard ever since. <laughs> So I started chainsaw carving before the lockdown. The reason I have spent so much time doing this now is it feels more important in these times. I mean, just stressful times to provide art for the community. I was programming. I had a programming job in San Francisco, uh, which is very fortunate, but um, I didn't really love it. <laughs> and uh, I had been thinking about committing more of my time to art for a couple of years now. <laughs> it's a simple sounding answer to a, a big question that I've been asking for a while of how to live my life, like, rightly. <laughs> like, what do I want to do with my life? Like, life is what you do all day. <laughs> I mean, whatever I feel is, is what I make, which is a great place to be in. When you're living in crazy times, um, I found a lot of consolation in meditation. It says, peace in, the, peace in oneself, peace in the world. I kind of had an idea to kind of leave it out and have it as a public mm -hmm. thing people could walk around and appreciate the, mm -hmm. the idea. From what I can tell, everybody loves it. Uh, what I've enjoyed is it's really gotten people to slow down and appreciate um, this specifically, but also I think life in general. Um, anything that makes you slow down I think is healthy. And It's the best way I could think of to help the community, is provide public art.